we had more rain and it looks like the area I excavated got filled in. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more. Um, stay tuned. I have been digging for quite a while. This is so coarse. There's a lot of boulders as you get down deeper. Um, I mean, there's a lot of boulders at the surface, but as you get down deeper, it gets a lot harder to dig when you only have a tactical shovel. So, when I come back, I'm bringing the real deal shovel. Um, I really wanna get deeper and see what's going on. I, I, I wanna get to that bedrock, but I don't know if that's going to be humanly possible here. I don't know how deep the alluvium is, but I'm definitely going to try. Let's take a look at this rock really quick. Scrub. All right, talk about secondary mineralization. I'm seeing a lot of epidote, which implies hydrothermal fluid, of course. You can see it's uh, filling in, taking over where the plagioclase was. All right, now, and let's test some of the soil um, for the presence of calcium carbonate. Check this out. I think I may have gotten a reaction. Let's see. It does look a little bit bubbly but I'm not necessarily convinced just right, yet. Here's my work for the day. Um, kind of just repeated what I did the other day, but I think I actually got, I think I got quite a bit deeper actually. It's really flowing. You see that? That's all, you see, you see it uh, at the beach a lot. But that is magnetite. It's been what we call hydronamically sorted. And um, that's where it concentrates. On the banks of rivers and um, on the beach. Okay, so I wanted to get a sample of what I think is clay. Um, it's definitely very fine sediment. I gotta be careful, the water is coming up. So let's just take a little bit of this a lot of bit of this. <laughs> I want to really study it. All right, and I'm gonna let that dry out at home, but that looks pretty good to me. I didn't notice this the other day, but we do have the formation of heads happening right here, so we know it's getting uplifted. Right. So I'm gonna take as much of the top layer as I can. Also, this is really interesting. see most of it before was just boulders and loose rocks but this is all like together like this because I have a suspicious feeling that the cracks in the pavement can tell us something I just wanted to record some of this um, you got some running north to south which seems to be the trend everywhere I go but you also got this one going uh northwest which is also the strike angle, um, but I'm not sure that's really related. Yeah, we got a pretty long crack here, north to south. Check that out. I'm guessing the fault is what's uplifting this section. Obviously there was some um, construction to level that out, but it is going uh, northwest, which we know is the strike angle for the Sierra Madre Fall. And it lines up with both gullies that are here. We got this. I love this vein running right through. Again, it looks like it's been, it looks like iron oxide and quartz. 
love it you got this rock i don't even really i mean is that all is all the black like horn blunt i i don't know i'm gonna ask androsco you got another vein running through classic this one is just another nice this is my favorite one so you got a lot of epidote happening a lot of iron oxide i don't know what that white is Yeah, look at that ortho, it's so pretty. I just wanted to get this diorite and ask him if this is a Wilson diorite or what kind. Picked up this little bright ortho. You can't tell how bright it is in this lighting, but it's bright. This one, lots of iron oxide. This little piece that I rock hammered off. I don't really know why I did, it's not that special. This one, lots of epidote. Yeah. And then this one, which is just another nice showing the, the ordering of the layers. And then uh, epidote all over this one. Oh, look at that movement. Oh, it took the whole thing. Wow. Let's run it through a little bit. Let's see. I want to try this part out. Oh, <laughs> just stuck. Oh, and that piece got stuck too. All right, we definitely got magnetite, you guys.